Hey everyone, I am Karen Joseph with 7 Networking. Hello, hello. Thank you to all the replay viewers as well. This is the 7 Networking website. Hello, how are you? Mama Needs Wine. Hi, how are you doing? Hillary, how are you? Good to see you, honey. I haven't seen you in a while. We're going to talk about networking today. Hello, hello, hello. Hope your kids had a good day at school. Jonathan, how are you doing? I hope you're still doing your scopes. Hello, Michelle King. I saw your um, new Facebook picture today. It was beautiful. Yeah, you made it onto a scope live. We're going to talk about networking today. Good. I'm glad they had a good day. Hope they didn't drive you too crazy. Um, we're going to talk about networking, why you need to do it if you have a small business. And I think a lot of you on here have businesses. It is very important. I'm going to block this person. I just have a feeling that, um, well, let's see. You be you will begin planning your scopes. Fabulous, 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 fabulous. Tell everyone what you guys do if you have a business because I am all about connecting entrepreneurs, promoting entrepreneurs. Yes, I am talking about you. There you go. You've been blocked now, sir. Um... Tell everyone what you guys do because this is a way to connect with other entrepreneurs. This is like networking, right? Yes, Hillary, you need to get back onto scoping for sure, for sure. Scope about origami all custom jewelry. Tell your story through amazing jewelry. Fabulous. I'm going to flip this around. So, yeah, business, please tell everyone what it is. Oh, I don't have my glasses. I don't know what happened to them. Ah! <laughs> um, but, oh, here they are. Yay, found them. Woohoo, now I can see everyone. I can see what you're typing in. So we're going to talk about networking today. And once again, I'm Karen Joseph with 7 Networking. I am a teacher turned entrepreneur. I love meeting, connecting with new people, empowering entrepreneurs, inspiring entrepreneurs. That is what I do through my networking organization. Oh, thank you. You're very sweet, too, to come on my scopes. I love getting to know you, my Southern California origami owl designer. Fabulous. Do you know, um, you probably know some of the gals here in Arizona. We'll have to chat one day. So, yes, woot, woot, woot. Have you been to the office in Chandler, the um, home office where Bella had her beginnings yes very cool nice 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 I know they keep growing and growing so it is cool all right friends what is an entrepreneur an entrepreneur is someone who owns their own business that's a good question thank you for joining Burke and zero three thank you for joining if you have friends who are entrepreneurs you probably want to share this with them share other people followers or post it on Twitter share on Twitter that is always helpful so that people can find out about networking too, right? So, I'll let you relieve the feeling of being together. Okay. Can you become famous? I don't know. Maybe. I think you're going to be a little trolly too, so we're going to block you. Okay. Hello, Lenny. Is that my friend Lenny? I'm not sure. I think it might be. Hillary helps people meet their health and wealth goals with Plexus. So, you guys all have businesses. Why do you need to network? Well, do people know what your business is if you're just sitting in your house or your office? Does someone just knock on your door and say, knock, knock, knock? Do you sell Plexus? Or knock, knock, knock? Are you with Origami Owl? I would love to buy a beautiful locket from you. No, they don't do that. That is not what people do. You have to get visibility if you have a business. So that is tip number one. I have an itchy, an itchy nose today. I know. Don't you wish someone would just knock on your door? Oh, I'd like to buy a locket today. Wouldn't that be easy? But it's not so easy. You have to... Hello, Creative Tea. Thank you for joining. You have to get visibility when you have a business, which means you have to actually leave the house or leave the office and meet new people. So tip number one, join a networking organization it will really help if you have visit you, to get yourself visibility. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Number two, you get support from the people. Hello, Sheila. How are you today, honey? You get support from other people in the networking group or the networking organization. I don't know about you guys, but when I was starting my, oh, you just joined Toastmasters. Fabulous. When I was starting my business, I told my mother and she was like, like, why are you doing that? 
You know, if it wasn't going to an office every day, going to my classroom to teach, lots of times our family and our friends don't believe that our home-based business or the business, the small businesses that we have that we run are real businesses. My aunt who lives in Massachusetts, I have had seven networking for six years. She will still say to me, how's that little business you have? My little business. So you're probably, oh, thanks for those hearts. Thanks for inviting your followers. You're probably, you need to find an offline networking group near you. Definitely, you need to. It is very, very, very important. You have a mastermind group once a month. That's fabulous because that's what like seven networking groups are. We're mastermind groups. We get together. We share ideas, right? Not only support, but sharing ideas. Lots of networking groups you can share ideas. Say some, You say you meet someone. They might be in a different business than what you're in, but they've tried something in their business that really, really, really has worked for them. And then you're like, cool. I want to try that too. Yes, BNI is a great organization. Fabulous. That is a networking organization. My husband has been a member for many, many, many years. There are many great networking organizations out there. That word little is, I know, isn't it? My little business. But I just smile and I say everything's going great. Because you know what? You're not going to convince your family that um, that what you're doing is, is great. People just, you know, your family's always poo-pooing, putting things down that you're doing. So anyhow, so you get support from other people who are entrepreneurs who are doing what you're doing. They understand what we're doing, why we want to be entrepreneurs, why we, we all have the entrepreneurial mindset, right? I gave a scope about that this morning. People who are entrepreneurs have a totally different mindset. Hi, Kale May. Thank you for joining you're having a busy day. You're just hopping from scope to scope to scope. Your last scope was amazing. Follow Admired Red Rose. She's fabulous. She does great scopes on customer service. Wonderful. If you're an entrepreneur, you need to follow her. And she is a nice, 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 nice lady as well. So we're talking about why people need to be members of networking groups or networking organizations. You get support from others. You learn from others. I always say that, you know, we do a lot of, I call it peer-to-peer -peer learning because we're learning from the people in the group at seven networking, men, uh, seven networking events. Family and friends are the worst, but then they'll have a friend and they will join. That's right. What we do is not good, but they'll join someone else. Their friend does it and it's, oh, it's the biggest, the greatest, the best thing ever. You are exactly right there. I have had that happen. I totally hear you. Um, when you go to networking events, you also get inspired, Right. You get inspired and you get, I hope that when you go to a networking event, when you leave, you're pumped up. You're like, hey, I can do this. I can run this business. I believe in myself. I have the confidence, right? If you're sitting home in your office, it's hard to sometimes get that inspiration, get that motivation to get the things done in your business that we all need to get done, right? So I encourage all of you to join networking a networking group. You know, go to one. How do you find one that's the right fit for you? People always ask me. Check one out. Check a couple out. Maybe check two out or three out or four out in your area. Go there. See if you're comfortable there. See if it's welcoming, if you enjoy going. If it's something you're going to dread doing, then guess what? You're never, ever, ever going to go back again, right? You're going to be like, oh, Tuesday morning, it's my day to go to my networking meeting. I just don't want to be there. But if you go with, if you go willingly, happily, with a big smile on your face, excited, then I guarantee you, you will definitely get something out of that. You will get inspired. You will get empowered. And another reason why to join a networking group, because don't we all want referrals, right? Don't we all want our business to grow? I always say networking is all about building relationships. Once you get to know someone like them and trust them, the business follows after that, right? You have to build those relationships first. Think about it. No one is going to just come to you in the supermarket and say, hey, you know, you're a financial advisor. I have a million dollars. I want to invest with you. No. You have to build that relationship first. They have to get to know you. Oh, thank you. They have to get to know you. They have to trust you. They have to like you. And then they are going to want to do business with you. And that's another thing. You know, 7 Networking is a relationship-based group because I feel that, 
you know, we do business with the people that we click with, that we resonate with, and that's why we're not a leads group. So there are two different kinds of networking groups. You're with Miriam. Very, very, very cool. Yes, Kale says, create as many relationships as possible, seeing what you can help others with. Exactly. And that's what I was going to say. You're there to help other people. If you believe in karma, give me a thumbs up or send some hearts. Karma will go around. You'll help others. The help will come back to you. I promise it always, always, always does. But you're there to help others. You're there to support others. You're there to get excited and celebrate others, um, you know, when they have milestones in their business, right? That's what networking is about, helping others, supporting others, getting excited when other people reach goals in their business. I always say, you don't walk into the supermarket and someone says, woohoo, yay, you sold 20 lockets this month, woohoo, here she comes. No, but if you go to a networking group and if you have built these relationships with people there, they'll be excited for you, they'll ha be happy for you, they'll want to share in your celebrations. So it's a lot of support, a lot of inspiration, a lot of learning from each other, which if we want to grow in our lives and our business, we all need to grow and we need to learn. So, and you need visibility. No one's going to knock on your door, Jonathan, right, and say, do you make tables? Nope. If you're not out there in the public eye meeting people, you just want to help people. Well, that is really, really, really nice, but you also want to sell your tables too, right? You help others and eventually the help will come back to you, right? Help others first, support others first, and then it will come back your way. I'm a firm, firm, firm believer in that. I have to run. Yay! Goodbye, Michael. Nice to meet you. I do a Promote Your Scope every evening. I will be doing it about an hour and a half. So hop back on. You can tell everyone about Nerium and what you do and what you like to scope about. Nice to meet you, Michael. Thank you all for joining. Yay, yay, yay. Come back tonight. Invite your followers. Invite your friends. Bye, Michael. Um, we are going to be doing, I do every evening, a Promote Your Scope. It is just really fun. Promote your business. Get some new followers. Make those connections. And then once you make those connections, you can go out and build those relationships. Get to know people, like them, and trust them. See you soon, Sheila. It was great to see you. I haven't seen you in about a week or so. Hope everything is going great, honey. All right. Thanks, all. I will see you later. Once again, I'm Karen Joseph with 7 Networking. Yes, you must be busy selling the yarn. Tag tribes, join a community to create more relationship. Exactly. Business and personal. Definitely. See you later. Um, I usually do it, I'm going to do it at 7.30, let's see, 7.30 p.m. Um, here in Arizona, Arizona time, which is 8.30 Pacific. Arizona time is wacky because we don't change, turn our clocks back. Oh, I was spotty. Well, you can watch the replay, Hillary. Hopefully, it'll be better. Um, 6.30. Uh, oh, you're right. <laughs> yes, 6.30 Pacific time, which is going to be 7.30 in Arizona. <laughs> I'm not very good with math. I know it's just a one-hour difference. I'm good at building relationships, meeting people. You're Eastern. So let's see. If it's 7.30 here, it's 9.30 Eastern. I know. Time change. Well, and we don't change, so I am so confused. It's like, ah, 9.30 Eastern, it will be 7.30 in, in Arizona time, and it'll be 6.30 Pacific time, all right? So get those kids fed dinner, 8 o'clock. It's going to be in an hour and a half, one and a half hours from now. Give those kids dinner. Tell them to go play with their toys. In Virginia, Sheila, it's going to be 9.30, 6.30... Uh, no, it's me. 8.30. Oh, I'm so confused. 8.30 in Virginia. No, 7.30, 9.30 in Virginia. Ah, oh, 9.30. This is not good. I'm good at some things, but, um, time change, clocks, math is not good. 9.30 in Virginia. 6.30. <laughs> I need that, Jonathan. And Jonathan, what time is it where you are? You're on the other side of the world. All right. See you guys soon. Have a good one. I'll be back in an hour and a half. You guys do the math. Thank you for joining me. It's been fun. It's been real. And I adore you all. Mwah. See you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs> 2 p.m. Oh, yes. You can look for the notification on your live feed. That's helpful, too. But some people like to prepare. So, 
Don't ask me about times. But thank you all. I love you all. Goodbye.